Crop News brought to you by the Kansas Association of Wheat Growers and Kansas Wheat Commission. Together, we are Kansas Wheat. Welcome back to the show, and uh, Chad, welcome back to the show. Hey, Brian, it's, it's how are been, you? It's been a little while since I know. we've seen you. It's been not really snowy, but I know. You know, that's all right. Um, it's that time of the year. Um, you guys know as well as I do. This time of the year, we spend a lot of time with Chad because. Uh, we want our yards to look nice right. and everything we're, that goes along with it. We're excited about our yard. Spring's here. Everything's uh, blooming and growing, and we're wondering what to do with their yard out there. Everybody's is green and starting to come up, but a lot of people wonder, okay, well, what do I do? Um, a lot of times um, the question comes, is it too late for crabgrass preventer or not? And I will say it depends. Um, it depends on what product you're using, what strength it is, and what, um, what the actual... I would say rate of the product is, how much the area is it covering, that sort of thing. So when we go out and we shop, we need to, to be aware that there are different strengths and different products that are designed for different regions of the world. So, or I should say of the United States when we come in. So what may work great in Wisconsin may be a little inadequate in Kansas as we find out we, we have a couple more months of hot weather. And so uh, let's say a product that's, that's developed for that region um, kind of like a Scotch product mm -hmm. that uses pendimethalin or something to that effect, well, maybe that two months of, of coverage or three months that they get out of that product doesn't adequately control us for all season. It may, means you have to reapply it. So it's real important as a customer, when you go out and you're looking for pre-emergent, am I having to put this down twice or is one time enough? And, but there's a cost difference there. there we were there is. we were kind of talking yeah. about that before yeah, we yeah. before we started shooting this, and yeah. I heard you talking to one of the customers. It, it, your upfront cost may be a little bit more, right, right? But your back end cost is going to be a lot less and less work, right? Because there's no reapplication. Mm -hmm. There's no uh, you know there's that ounce of prevention versus that pound of cure going and trying to ch chase down crabgrass seedlings that have broken through and got got started in your yard. So. Um, the one thing I like to, to, to tell people is ask, ask questions. Is this a split application, meaning you have to put it down two times a year, or is this a single application? And the single applications are typically twice as concentrated as a single app, uh, or as a split app. Um, the other added benefit, if you're using Dimension, and Dimension's a, a newer crabgrass preventant they have out there, at the full strength, even late, like it is now, can kill seedling crabgrass, which none of the other ones at that half rate or that lighter have any ability to do. So even if you're too late, you're not too late right. with, with a chemical that if you're if you're buying the right chemical. Well, here's my question is because okay. most of the time you're gonna get uh, weed control in a fertilizer. Right. And if we're having to put on two applications instead of one, right. we may be adding fertilizer at the wrong time of the year. That's true. If you get you know, the nice thing is you'd be doing it, you know, in this April, March, April time frame, and then just following up right again in May. So that's okay to do. Um, where it isn't okay to do is a lot of times people will have a problem with an early annual and they're using these weed and feed products. Mm -hmm. A pre-emergent is a, is a totally different animal than a weed and feed type product. Um, folks that go out and use the weed and feeds, sometimes they're dumping it on way in, early in the spring and your crabgrass preventer doubling up that nitrogen, which will give you the most beautiful yard in the world for a month. And then after that, it- It just burns out, doesn't it? It, it rapidly goes right. downhill. The plant's just used all its resources up. So be, be cognizant of the fertilizer. We want to have a low nitrogen um, in those crabgrass pre-emergence. And we also want to have some forms of slow release so that they're not all being released at once, all in the spring. A good example would be the, the majority of ones we hold are, are a 1505, which is only 15% nitrogen, um, two thirds of which won't be releasing until it warms up anyway. So, you know, that April, May, it starts to get warm enough to where that stuff will break down and it'll be released. Well, I think this is a good time to take a break. When we come back, let's talk about how we read the back of a bag. Okay, that sounds right. great. Yeah. We'll see you guys in just a minute. Crop News, brought to you by Heritage Tractor, your full-line John Deere dealer. Visit us online at heritagetractor.com. 
Thanks for staying with us, Chad. Thanks for keep uh, having us out here today. Sure. All right. So we uh, walk in the store. Could be any store. Could be anybody's store. Could, could be out here. Happens Farm. to be mine it today. It just happens yeah, to yeah. be yours today. All right. And we've got price options when it comes to pre-emergence. Yeah. Um, let's kind of go through what people should look for when they're reading the back of the bag. Okay. Um, the first thing you want to look for is what product it is. Um, sometimes they'll be under trade names which the trade names are, are, are things like Stonewall, or, or not, excuse me, not Stonewall, well, Stonewall would be one, Barricade would be one. Um, even though they're the same chemical, which is prodiamine, they have different names. So the easiest thing to do is to see what chemical you're using. It's either going to be, in most cases for our area, pendimethalin, dithoper, which is the dimension one, and then our uh, prodiamine. So, if you're looking in there, you see which ones you have, then you know the properties of that chemical to kind of give you an idea of how long it's going to last. Mm -hmm. um, Pendimethalin is usually a three month product. Dimension or Barricade can be up to six months depending on how heavy you put it down. So once we know what chemical we're dealing with, um, then we want to see the concentration. So a split app, meaning you're just going to come down and do it, you're going to do it twice a year, mm -hmm. may cost you, let's say $25, okay? So you per think, application. Per application okay. for a quarter of an acre, you know, 12,000 square feet. So a guy gets excited, he's got this great deal, you know, it's $25. So he goes and puts it out there. And then in three months, you know, the, the end of June going into July, all of a sudden he sees crabgrass coming up and he wonders what happened. Well, you had a 0.1% dimension instead of a 0.21%. And that's that's where people run into problems. So. If you're, if you're looking for a single application of dimension, it would be a 0.2%. So twice as strong, and it also gives you that added strength to be able to kill seedling crabgrass, which none of the other products can do. Same thing when you look at Barricade or Stonewall or whatever you run into, um, the chemical's prodiamine. So if prodiamine is at, let's say it's at 0.2%, that does not equal the 0.2% right. that dimension does. Uh, point two is a split app of prodiamine. So you'd have to put it down now and then again in two months or three months later. If you found a 0.4%, well then you know you're dealing with that single application again. So all this means is that as you go through, you're being cognizant of what the differences are so that you're not paying $25 now and $25 later or $50 trying to fix it for a total cost of 75 bucks or you can pay 37 the first time mm -hmm. and not have to worry about that later in the season. And you know, we're into April right now mm -hmm. and a lot of people tend to dump on a lot of nitrogen early right. in the year because right. uh, they want that really green grass. Right. But when we really need protection from crabgrass is when it starts to warm up and that stuff's either washed right. away or it has no strength left to it. Here, here's the deal. With with the, the newer types of Dimensioner Barricade, the clock doesn't start ticking as soon as you put it on. It starts ticking as soon as it warms up. With pentamethalin or those sorts of things, it starts ticking as soon as you put it down. That's why the old saying, you know, wait till the red buds bloom and then I come out and put it down. Well, that was because these products had to be almost perfectly timed right. or you just would not get the control. You, you'd run, if you put it down too early, it would be used up and it wouldn't be there for you late in the season. If you put it down too late, it would have already germinated. The newer ones take kind of the thinking out of it. Just if you get the full strength, you do it roughly in that time frame, you are in good shape. Perfect. Yeah. And we also want to remind everybody, if you haven't, we're kind of doing something new this year, and Chad and I talked about it. Sure. If you have yeah. a question for Chad, you can go to our website, which is Ag AM in Kansas, click the Contact Us button, fill out the form and hit Submit, and I'll get it to Chad, and we'll, and we'll come on air and talk about it. Or you can go to HeyCal.com. Sure, and same thing, contact us, mm -hmm. and that'll go to my email, and we, we can certainly go over some um, whatever you have, any kind of questions about your yard.